tragedy in Chattanooga. The National Transportation Board is calling in additional staff to help them piece together what caused the bus crash that killed five children. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Alex Coleman. And I'm April Thompson. We now know federal investigators have their hands on footage that shows the moments before, during, and after that deadly attack. The BREG is the only Memphis station with a crew in Chattanooga. And our Michael Quander was there to question the governor and school leaders about what could have been done to prevent this. As a memorial grows for five children killed in a school bus accident, so do the number of questions about what caused it. I think it's time for us to, stand, to step back, all of us, local school boards, the state, and, and look at the whole school bus process. Governor Bill Haslam stopped at Woodmore Elementary this morning, vowing to launch a full investigation into how school bus services are run across the state. Why does it take for something like this to happen before we see some action being taken? Well, I I'll let others uh, comment on that. But no one ever did. Hamilton County school officials also staying tight-lipped about what they may have known about the driver. My kids said that he's drinking on the bus. Jasmine Mateen, whose daughter died in the crash, says she wrote a letter to the school claiming Jonathan e. Walker was drinking on the job and driving recklessly. I've been calling up to the school since school started. Does that letter exist? Uh, so right now our focus is on giving our families and students the support that they need correct, um, in this tragedy. In, that That's letter, what our focus is on. Correct, but does the letter exist? Right now our focus is on giving the families the support that they need. The principal of the school wouldn't say if they were alerted to parents' concerns. And when we tried to ask more questions. Thank you everyone for joining us this morning. Thank, Thank you. you. They ended the press conference. Well, now that the scene is clear, I can give you all a better look at what police say happened. According to officers, that bus driver was traveling on this side of the street when he hit this mailbox, lost control, and flipped over on the other side of the street and into a tree. Were the students seated or were they all over the place? Uh, how fast was it going? That's what NTSB Chairman Christopher Hart is hoping footage from the bus's three cameras will show. In a one-on-one -on -one interview with WREG, Hart says his team will look deep into Durham School Services history and hopefully address concerns from the community. Are you all going to be looking into allegations from parents that this driver uh, in the past may have been drinking or driving erratically before? We have asked for any witnesses who have information that would be useful to us to tell us that. Information they're working to get to hopefully prevent something like this from happening again. Reporting in Chattanooga, Michael Quandro, WREG News Channel 3. Again, Jonathan E. Walker is behind bars charged with vehicular homicide and being held on a $20,000 bond. Investigators say they did not find drugs or alcohol in his system stemming from the, the time of the Monday's crash. There were 37 children on the bus. Five of them were killed. Twelve of them are still in the hospital this evening. Six are in intensive care.